Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today, we're going over this Grio 7-in-1 workbench. So let's jump right into it. So welcome to the channel. If you're new here, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you like my content. And if you're a longtime subscriber, I'm sure you've seen this in previous videos. But first off, before we start talking about this, there's one more day to enter into my giveaway. Link below to see how you can win a $100 Home Depot gift card. So, what exactly is this? Well, you see, I said it's a Griot's 7-in-1 workbench. But truth be told, this is just the products that Griot sells along with QVC, Astro Pneumatic, and many other companies. Someone invented this product. Apparently, there's patents on this product but you can find it for a range of different prices out there. So the best price I can find for you guys is the Astro Pneumatic on Amazon. It is $129.36 versus Griot's $169.99. Why are we reviewing this today? Well, I would say this is the most consecutively used tool in my garage. And why is that? Because it is multi-purpose. Now they say this is a seven in one. Truth be told, it's more than 7-in-1, and it could be less than 7-in-1. All depends on how you use it and what you classify as a multi-purpose. So, before we get into how I use it, let's go over what they classify as 7-in-1. Well, firstly, mode 1 is called workbench mode. This is mostly how I use this 7-in-1 workbench. I like sitting on my creeper in my garage and working on the workbench like this. It's a nice height. Due to my uh, workbenches in my cabinets are actually much taller, I need a higher workbench. I like using this most of the time because I have a creeper on wheels. So second off, there's seahorse mode. So you see these holes on the table. There's two separate uh, connections that come with this table that clip in here and help clamp down whatever you're working on. Uh, that will make it much easier to cut anything you're working on when you are using this table. So third off, there's scaffold mode. And this really drops the table to half the height and I use this most of the time to clean my SUV and truck. You see, since I'm vertically challenged, I don't have the reach that most people have. So I use this mode so I can stand halfway up the truck and get to the hard to reach spots on the roof or even on the, the A pillars or wherever I can't reach. The next mode is what they call platform mode. Platform mode is essentially the same as scaffold mode, except you have a handle that pops up. This tray pops right out and it will clip on the handle, giving you access to whatever tools you need. I would see you using this if you're painting the, the ceiling trim in your house or even detailing your car as well, somewhere where you can keep a couple of spray bottles close to your hand instead of getting off the bench every time you need it. Next up on the list is creeper mode. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Just exactly what it sounds like. You fold up the legs and underneath there are some wheels uh, and it will help you get under or work under your truck or car. Obviously, if you're working under either of those, you probably need to lift it up, but it'll help you roll around under the truck or car. Next up on the list is something called dolly mode. Dolly mode's exactly the same as creeper mode, except that you're not on it, something else is, like some boxes or some car tires, and you can push it around like a dolly. And last but not least is something called hand truck mode. It is creeper mode, dolly mode, combined with platform mode, and you get a handle to push around your stuff. So, as you can tell, this is a 7-in-1 product. I do believe it is a lot more than 7-in-1 and a lot less than 7-in-1 all at once. There are many features about this table that have not been mentioned, and most of the features are exactly the same. It's just if you're standing on it or if you're standing beside it, they call it a different mode. So let's jump into some of the other features that this 7-in-1 workbench has. So on the side here, you have two outlets and two USBs. You would run an extension cord from, let's say your garage, if you were working in your driveway, and you would plug the extension cord in here, giving you the ability to plug in whatever you need, an angle grinder, a cell phone, uh, whatever, so you can work on the bench. It becomes a powered bench. 
Another great thing that I like to use on this table is this tray here. Great for screwdriver, pliers, nuts and bolts and washers to be organized when you're working on the workbench. And lastly, what you do get is two rulers. One on each side here goes from 0 to 31 inches and then uh, 0 to looks like 78 centimeters. You also get a protractor here divided in 60, 45, 22.5, 15 degrees and 0 degrees to help you out with all those cuts and markings you need when you're cutting. So guys, overall, I love this workbench. It is great for what it is. For $129, I think it's perfect. It's a great option if you're looking for some workspace in a work truck. If you want to throw this in the back of your work truck, uh, you can use it in many, in many different uh, options. You go to Costco, you want to get, I don't know, 20 pallets of water, you can lo help load it in your truck with this easy to uh, move dolly, if you will, in dolly mode or hand truck mode. Uh, you have a workbench if you don't want to cut wood on the back of your tailgate, save your tailgate for an accidental saw slide. Um, but all in all, I use this quite a bit. I highly recommend it, but I only recommend it at the Astro Pneumatic price right now of 129 Obviously, Griots, I love Griots, but if you buy from them, they do have, a, I think, a 360-day return policy, which Astro Pneumatic does not have. So if you're unsure, be sure to use the link below to buy that from Griots or the link from Amazon uh, to save 40 bucks, and then hopefully it helps you out. So thanks again for tuning in today. Be sure to sign up for that giveaway if you haven't, and until next time, I'll see you then.